Hi, I'm Rinka. Welcome to Basic Tai Chi for Beginners Lesson 8. This time, we will practice the fifth form of the 24 form Tai Chi, playing lute. And the two movements we did in Lesson 6 and 7 in succession. I will explain how to do and the important points after practice so that you can practice with this video every day. Now, let's get started. First, practice with me. Please make the end of brush knee and step forward with your right hand and left foot in front of you. Shift your weight to the left and take a half step. Turn your hips to the right and shift your weight to the right, your left hand up to your chest, raise the left heel slightly. Turn your hips forward, reposition the left heel, push forward with your arms. Your weight firmly on the right foot. Well done! Now let's practice again. Please make the end of brush knee and step forward. Shift your weight to the left and take a half step. Turn your hips to the right and shift your weight to the right, your left hand up to your chest, raise the left heel slightly. Turn your hips forward, reposition the left heel, push forward with your arms. Alright, one more time. Please make the end of brush knee and step forward. Shift your weight to the left and take a half step. Turn your hips to the right and shift your weight to the right, your left hand up to your chest, raise the left heel slightly. Turn your hips forward, reposition the left heel, push forward with your arms, your weight firmly on the right foot. Well done! Now, let's practice the three movements from white crane spread its swings to praying lute. Please make the end of part the wild horse mane. White crane spread its wings. Shift your way to the left, take a half step and make a bow. Turn your hips to the right, shift your way to the right and crush a ball. Raise the left heel slightly as well. Turn the hips to the front, raise and push, reposition your left foot forward, keeping the heel up. Brush knee and step forward. Turn your hips to the left and bring your right hand down. Turn your hips to the right and sweep with your left arm. Set on your side and raise the left foot slightly. Turn your face, bend and lower. Take a step, brush and push forward while making the bow stance. Shift your weight to the right. Turn your hips to the left and sweep and set on your side. Turn your face, bend and lower, take a step. Brush and push forward while making the bow stance. Shift your weight to the left, turn your hips to the right and sweep and set on your side. Turn your face, bend and lower, take a step. Brush and push forward while making the bow stance. Playing lute. Shift your weight to the left and take a half step. Turn your hips to the right and shift your weight to the right, your left hand up to your chest, raise the left heel. 
to your hips to the front. Reposition the left heel. Push forward. Good. Let's do it one more time. Please make the end of part the wild horse mane. White crane spread its wings. Shift your weight to the left, take a half step and make a ball. Turn your hips to the right, shift your weight to the right and crush your ball. Raise the left heel slightly as well. Turn the hips to the front, raise and push. Reposition your left foot forward, keeping the heel up. Brush your knee and step forward. Turn your hips to the left and bring your right hand down. Turn your hips to the right and sweep with your left arm. Set on your side. Raise the left foot slightly. Turn your face, bend and lower, take your step. Brush and push forward while making the both stance. Shift your weight to the right. Turn your hips to the left and sweep and set on your side. Turn your face, bend and lower, take your step. Brush and push forward while making the bow stance. Shift your weight to the left. Turn your hips to the right and sweep, set on your side. Turn your face, bend and lower, take your step. Brush and push forward while making the bow stance. Plain lute. Shift your weight to the left and take a half step. Turn your hips to the right and shift your weight to the right. Your left hand up to your chest. Raise the left heel slightly. Turn your hips to the front. Reposition the left heel. Push forward with your arms. Excellent! Now, here is how to do the movements and the key points. Please make the end of brush knee and step forward with your right hand and left foot in front of you. Take a half step lightly towards the left foot with your right foot with your heel slightly above the ground. Turn your hips to the right and shift your weight to your right foot. Your left hand should come up to your chest. Raise the left heel slightly. Then turn your hips forward while placing your left foot with the heel forward lightly. Then make a pushing motion like this. Your right hand should be around the elbow of your left arm. At this point, about 95% of your weight is on your right foot. There are three points to this movement. The first is that this movement is to clasp the opponent's arm with your hands and push them forward. Therefore, there is enough space between the two hands for one arm. Second, at the end of this movement, the weight is firmly on the right foot with very little weight on the left foot. In this posture, it is correct if you can kick immediately like this. You can do this if your weight is firmly on your right foot. Third, at the end of this movement, the knees and toes should be facing the same direction. The angle is about 45 degrees from the front. This correct posture protects your knees and uses your thigh muscles well. So you may find it a bit tough, but that is why Tai Chi is a very safe and good muscle training. 
Doing Tai Chi in an incorrect posture will not benefit your body. If you understand and follow the points I have just given you, Tai Chi can greatly improve your health. That's all for today. You did really well. Let's practice together again tomorrow. Next time, we will do the sixth form of the 24 form Tai Chi reverse reading forearm. It will be uploaded soon. Please look forward to it. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. ありがとうございました。See you soon. Bye.